and welcome back. Today I'm gonna do this dear Halloween makeup look for you guys. I think it came out really, really cool and different. I've been looking so much on Pinterest and YouTube and everywhere to do a quick, simple Halloween makeup look. If you guys don't wanna get like really, really dressed up, you just wanna paint your face. So if you guys wanna know how I got this cool dear look, just keep watching. Okay, so I started my face already with my foundation. The foundation I actually used today is the Infallible Pro Matte. This is my all-time favorite one. This is in the shade 108. Because of the fact it's long wearing, it's full coverage, and since we're gonna be bouncing around, we want something that's gonna last all day and stay like a matte, not dewy. Check my hair, because I don't want anything to be done with my hair. I take my concealer, and this is in the shade five. My makeup forever. And this makeup is just basically contouring. This is a like contouring to the extreme. So. Yeah, Beauty Bother, we're just going to dab this into our skin. I haven't even tried to do this look. This is just me winging it, so hopefully it comes out really, really cool and nice. I've seen so many videos on this and I thought it was just so cute and so different because everyone usually does like a cat or something like that or like a skull. And I'm thinking like, hmm, a deer, that's weird. <laughs> so I wanted to do something a little different and I wanted to recreate it myself. So I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm going to bake the under eye. While we let that bake, we're gonna do our brows and then the contour. So I'm taking my brow is and just doing my brows. You can also get ears for this look, but ain't nobody got time for that. You can also get like branches and make it yours. We're just gonna fill the brows, our natural brows, and make sure we have this arch going. So now, since we're letting this bake, we're just going to dust this off. We're going to bronze the base. So I'm gonna take an angle brush. You can take any brush, pretty much. But I'm gonna take an angle brush and I'm gonna go in my Shade to Light palette by Kat Von D. Take this shade right here from the palette. And this is the darkest shade in the palette, which I've never touched because I'm like, dude, what am I gonna use this shade for? This is it. This is so we're gonna take this shade and we're going to go above our cheek right here. And then going to the contour gods right now. And we're going to bring it up to our temples and our forehead. And we want this to be a dark as hell. Because you want this to really stand out. Remember, a deer is like really dark. Like, their contour is legit. And then we're just going to put this like so. And we're just going to rub this in. You don't want it looking very patchy. You want it to blend really good and seamlessly. So, the face. Warming it up. We're gonna grab it and put it on our jawline as well. Just to have the illusion of the deer. And for this look, you can also bring it down for your neck. You don't have to, but I will. Because I want to look a little darker. And bring it down to the jawline. So I'm just going to press it into the skin as well. Just making sure we have it very dark. forehead V kind of shape and a V kind of shape so just like so and I'm gonna take the same shadow and I'm going to follow the lines on my nose going downward you want to be careful with the shade that you don't go too 
the side so much. You just want to lightly press on it and then follow where your nose goes. And I'm just using it on the side of the brush and we're connecting it to the brows on top. We want the nose to be very narrow and small because they have like usually a small nose. And we're gonna blend this into the brows. So I'm lightly dusting it. And then you can do this also with a cream, but I'd rather just use shadows because they blend more easily. It's whatever you have around, to be honest. I'm taking my NYX eyeliner pencil and I'm going to draw the nose. So by drawing the nose, I'm just going to do like a heart shape and then go inward. And we're gonna also make this look wet in a second because you know how deer noses are wet. And I'm not dragging it all the way to the down, to the bottom of my nose, I'm just cutting it right there. You want the eyes to look simple and natural and very narrow, like cat wing eyed. So I'm gonna take my Olorac Pro Palette, taking a setting spray and just spritzing it and grabbing the shadow Snow. Putting this all. I'm gonna just take a bronzer shade, going to bronze up the corners and follow like the natural eye look. A white crayon because I don't have a white eyeliner and I'm just going to do the inner eye of this part right here. I'm just gonna put this as a white in the inner circle. And snow going to just place it to set it and taking snow and just putting it on the very tip of the nose this one the dark brown shade I'm gonna go underneath that white shadow like so and this palette has a lot of fallout so you want to be careful when you Place it on your face. But it's all about taking your time and these lines, I want them to be symmetrical. But again, it's all about taking your time on this step. Bring it outward. Mascara, I'm just gonna take Better Than Sex and just coat the lashes. So we can put some falsies. Okay, so I did the lashes off camera and I wanted to do the wing liner on camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm taking the Too Faced sketch marker, follow this line that we created. So I'm just going to wing it out like this. And then just draw against the lash line to cover the band. You wanna make that liner really stick out. And this is pretty nice because it's like a felt tip marker. So it's very easy to just glide it on. And you can use it on an edge. And then I'm just gonna do the other side as well. This is what I did. So I just basically connected the black liner to the brown part of it. We are going to highlight the base. Zazia in the Glow Kit. This is like my favorite um, Luxie 522 brush. And I'm gonna take Crushed Pearl and we're just going to bling this out. The bridge of the nose put it in the inner corner, like up here. Taking my concealer, I'm gonna do the Cupid's bow. 
Usually we take a highlighter, this is kind of weird for me. I'm just gonna take my finger. Taking my little brush like we started from the beginning, we're gonna go down the nose in the middle between it. We're just gonna cover the lip again. This is really like dying. The bottom lip. And this is just making the bottom lip invisible. I'm just gonna grab this liner in brown sugar and just going to line my lips. my darkest shade, True Brown K. It's just a plain brush. I'm gonna take the white from paint from here, and this is where we're gonna make the dots. So this is the fun part. And here you can just play, have fun with it and just make it where you want it to make it. It's not precise. So I'm just grabbing it and twisting it and flipping it over the finger and just dab it into the skin. That way it's pressed in there. It's not like you put random dots in your head. Got some paint in my hair. The hair for this look. It's kind of similar to my mermaid one. Just gonna pin out my hair on the side. Again, you can always put ears to this look, but I just don't have any. So, you can always do two braids, which I would probably most likely do, but. All right, guys, and this wraps up our dear look on how to do a quick Halloween makeup. I hope you guys enjoy your Halloween and be safe out there, of course. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I love doing this video for you guys. So yeah, I don't think I have anything else much to say, but I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.